Hey, what's going on everybody? This episode, I want to talk a little bit about casting. Now we have talked about casting here, where we casted this view to a button. So we're getting a little bit more specific, but now I want to do this inside of a larger expression and just explain one of the issues that could rise and what you need to do to fix it. So, for example, here we are taking this find view by ID and we're assigning it to a view object. Now, what if we know ahead of time it's going to be a button and we want to be more specific? Well, you can assign it to a button here and it doesn't seem like that that's a problem, but then you have to use this variable throughout all of it. And sometimes you don't want to do that. Wouldn't it be kind of cool if you could just do get rid of this part here and just say find view by ID, pass it in, and then just say set enabled, false. That works. All right, so that's one thing we can do. We, we made that easier. And there's no casting here, so what am I talking about? Well, watch this next part here. When we say, and, and this is where I can get a little bit redundant, sometimes it's better to do the variable, but other times you're going to want to do it in an expression. And then we want to say set text and pass in a value, like so. Well, this isn't gonna work. Why is this not gonna work? Well, because set text is not available on whatever this evaluates to. It evaluates to a view object, this doesn't exist on that. So you might think, okay, we just gotta cast it. We will cast this to a button, and everyone's happy. We can run this thing, let's see what happens. And we get an error, not a statement. Um, what's not a statement? <laughs> it's really vague for one. But anyways, the, the trick, to, the, the thing is, when we do a cast like this, the, the precedence, and you can look into this more, but this is lower precedence than all this other junk on the right. So what it's going to do is it's going to try to evaluate all of this stuff, and then it's going to try to cast this to a button. It doesn't even make sense. So what you actually have to do is you have to be a little bit more specific using parentheses. What are we trying to cast to a button? That's what we're trying to cast to a button. This is going to give us a view and we want to be specific and say it's a button. So we can put parentheses around the casting and the find view by ID call and that'll give us a button. And then on that button, we can then set the text. So let's try it now. And uh, uh, maybe, and it worked. Awesome, now we actually have to see if the program functions like it should. So let's take a look at our program. And we have this button, we click it, and it says new, new, disabled, which is exactly the text we put right here. So that's just a little bit of a tip on casting. Now that is more of a, of a Java thing over a Android development thing but it's certainly going to come up because sometimes you're not going to want to always have to assign something back to a new variable. That can be good in some cases and other times you don't want to do that. It's just ultimately up to you and what's easiest for you to read. So thank you guys. Hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you in the next episode. Subscribe.